Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shayla and today we're going to be talking about how to become a notary in New York State. Um, now I'm making this video because while I was trying to become you know, a notary myself, um, there weren't a lot of people making videos about how to do it. Like I see a lot of notaries and a lot of loan signing agents in other states making a lot of you know YouTube videos, getting that passive income, kudos to you. But I didn't really see a lot in New York State. So I definitely wanted to document my experience and share my experience with you all. So we can kind of, you know, help each other out, you know. And if you're seeing this video, make sure you definitely like and subscribe because I'm going to be bringing a lot more information to you guys. So first things first, how do you become a notary in New York State? Like I mentioned, the first thing that I did was I got study materials. So this is before I looked up like any test dates or anything like that. I definitely wanted to start like looking up what are the study materials because I wanted to make sure one, I didn't spend a lot of money and two, I was gonna be able to actually learn, you know, what I wanted to learn. So you know me, I like to save money. So I went to Amazon and this is after, you know, you know, watching a couple of YouTube videos, kind of trying to see what other people are doing, you know, and I was hearing like a lot of different courses people were taking, you know, to become a notary. But I was just thinking in my head, you know, how hard can it actually be? You know what I'm saying? So I went to Amazon, you know, trying to get a study guide and I actually ended up finding a study guide and it was called the New York Notary Public Exam Speed Study Guide and it's on Amazon and it was only like $10. So I was able to use that. I was able to, you know, read through that, kind of familiarize myself with the terms that I needed and different things like that. Um, and I also think that because I'm kind of, you know, a recent graduate, I was a criminal justice major. I also think that kind of helped with me memorizing the terminology, which is another reason why I kind of didn't want to get a course because I knew I was kind of familiar with different laws at the time, you know? So basically I was kind of familiar with the terminology. So I didn't think it was going to be that much of a struggle to study for me, which it wasn't. So I'm glad that I ended up only getting the $10 book because that was all I really needed. So. After I got the book, you know, I took a little bit of time studying and then this is when I started looking up test dates. Now, this step, I actually wish I would have did beforehand because I don't know, you know, why there was a lot of things going on last year, um, last January, you know, at the time, you guys know. So maybe that's why it took a long time to kind of get the ball rolling or whatever, but I went to the you know your state's website your state's website is gonna have you know only information you need you could literally type it into google and it'll pull up all the information you know that you need for the test so i went on my state site i picked out my site that i was going to take my test at which was hallpog new york so that is in long island it was a little bit of a drive for me but i didn't personally want to go into the city um so i picked the hallpog site all you have to do is email them um i believe it is exams at dos.newyork.gov that's the email address that you're going to use and you're going to send them the necessary information that they ask for and this is different from state to state so that's why i say go to your state's website they're going to have you know all the information for you but you want to put all the information that they ask for specifically as they ask for guys reading is so fundamental in the email um give them all the information they ask for send your email off and then you're basically waiting for a response for them to schedule your test date um so i was waiting i continued to just study a little bit here and there and my wait time was like guys it took like two and a half months for me to get a date just to get the date for the test not to take the test just to get the date for the test but once i got the date for the test i believe the the date was only like maybe one or two weeks out from when I got it. So that was pretty cool. So I ended up going to take my test, you know, two weeks later. Um, it has a $15 fee. Um, I don't know how it is for everybody else's state. It's different. So you, like I said, definitely make sure you look it up compared to what state you're going to be looking at. But this is for me. So it was a $15 fee that I gave um, money order and I brought it to the test site with me and I gave it to the test instructor. The test was Scantron. Um, I believe it was only like, I believe it was only like 
40 questions or so there weren't really that many um questions on it and i didn't feel like the questions were that hard but there was a lot of focus on the laws actually and some terms that you needed to know like acknowledgements jurats different definitions like that that you needed to know but the study guide that i got was really really helpful um it came with some practice exams that you could use and it also came with like another set of like fill in the blank questions so you can kind of test your memorization so that was really good i felt like my study guide did the trick you know what i'm saying get the most bang from a buck um because i passed the test um after i took the exam you know i left and you know you have to wait until you get your pass slip in the mail they're going to send you a pass slip and once they send you the pass slip, you're gonna be sending off your pass slip and that money order to the Secretary of State so that you know you can get your commission and you can become a notary. So all in all, for me to actually become a notary in New York State, that was a total of what, $85? Just about to get you know my study materials, take my exam, and then send my pass slip in to the Secretary of State so I can get my commission. And that whole process, took about four or five months so it's not really that expensive to get started um the process however can be lengthy so you know me becoming a notary that was the first step in becoming a loan signing agent you can just be a notary you don't have to become a loan signing agent but that's just something that i want to do so i'm definitely going to be documenting my journey i'm going to be bringing you guys the information that you guys need and i'm definitely going to be doing a part two to this video about now becoming a loan signing agent because that was the step for a notary to become a loan signing agent is going to be a couple of more steps so i'm definitely going to be doing a whole nother video about that but as you can see guys there's not many steps to become a notary it's not that hard i would just really recommend studying and making sure you know the information but thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't already like comment subscribe let me know if you guys want to have any questions and please tune into my next video i'm out